In this video, we'll show raw omitted footage from Daniel Dodd's advertisement claiming Tesla's full self-driving software runs over kids. Is Daniel Dodd's advertisement a complete fraud? Or is Tesla's autonomous driving technology actually a danger to human lives? Let's dig in. First, who is Daniel Dodd and does he have ulterior motives? Dan O'Dodd is a Caltech grad, CEO and founder of Green Hill Software, and a 2022 candidate for U.S. Senate in California. His bio claims he is the world's leading expert in creating software that never fails and can't be hacked. It further claims he has created secure operating systems for projects for Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and NASA. He's been highly critical of Tesla full self-driving on TV, Twitter, and even ran a one-page ad in the New York Times back in January 2022. This issue of the danger of autonomous driving is a core part of his political platform. Besides that, we have yet to uncover any explicit ties to funding or organizations that would be incontrovertible evidence to suggest that he has malicious ulterior motives. But is his advertisement misleading or fraudulent enough to indict him regardless? His ad shows Tesla's running over mannequin kids while on Tesla's full self-driving or FSD software. But how exactly was his test conducted? The setup was simple, place mannequin kids in the middle of the lane, have the Tesla drive at 40 miles per hour or 20 yards a second, engage FSD 100 yards before the kid and see if the car stops. This means FSD has about 5 seconds to react. The result? According to Dan, 3 times out of 3, the Tesla hit the mannequin kid. But it's easy to manufacture an edited video that seems to tell one story. However, there is footage omitted from the ad that has been uncovered. The first clip is here. And this is the second clip. Notice anything suspicious? It's notable that we can't see the full screen, nor the driver's foot on the pedals. So these raw clips aren't great evidence that the test was legitimate. Some have claimed the video is intentionally blurry so you can't see the warning sign that the accelerator is pressed while it's on FSD and the car will not stop. Furthermore, it's important to know that the test was conducted independently rather than under the oversight of a US regulating body. It's hard to get clear evidence one way or the other, but regardless, what we do know for sure is that FSD is in beta, and Tesla has repeatedly said it is not meant at this stage to be used without driver supervision. 